So do you have any beauty secrets? Just the daily moisturiser. I exfoliate. And wear sunscreen when you are in the sun. New wave mean cream. Everybody has their beauty secrets, but when the subject of cosmetic surgery comes up, there's a lot of mixed reactions. Would you ever consider plastic surgery or cosmetic mm, surgery? Never. If I felt that I needed it, yes. I think it's better to go au naturel, personally. How do you feel about Botox? I don't like it. Crow's feet actually add some personality, so I don't think that anyone should ever consider Botox anyway. If you're looking for some simple solutions, kind of a bit of a turn off. For you to sit there and take away those laugh lines, those worry lines, um, you're just limiting your ability to communicate with other people, really. It may surprise you, but close to a quarter of a million Botox injections are given to Australians each year. But as Jonica Newby reveals, Botox is more than skin deep. A funny thing happened on the way to the Botox clinic, or more precisely, on the way back. The next day, there was a message to ring her and I thought, oh, God, what, something gone wrong. And I rang her up to see what the problem was and her emphatic, you know, just very excited voice says, I feel fantastic. Now, I'll interrupt this story because just in case you're wondering, Maureen's patient's Botox wasn't for mere beauty. She was worried her kids were reacting badly to her permanent frown lines. She said, it, it's affecting my relationship with my kids. Mum, why are you so cranky all the time? I mean, in fact, one of them had said to her, Mum, why are you always cranky with us? OK, back to the story. Very excited voice says, I feel fantastic. And I said to her, oh, that's good, you know. And she said, no, you don't get it, I feel really, really good. And I said, well, what, is the frown gone? And she said, oh, not, not completely, no, but she said, my headache is gone. And I said, oh, I didn't know you had headaches. And she said, no, neither did I, really. I think the headache was such a constant presence in her life, this constant tension headache, that she'd just become used to it. To everyone's surprise, it looks as though Botox might be a treatment not just for frowns, but for that mother of all headaches, the migraine. This is one of those great stories where a medical treatment accidentally led to a cosmetic treatment, which accidentally led back to a medical treatment. So, to set the scene, here's a brief history of Botox. In the 1890s, botulinum poison was identified after it accidentally killed a few dinner party guests by paralysing them. It's actually botulism, produced by the food poisoning bug Clostridium botulinum. Then in the 60s, it was realised small doses could block nerve spasms in the eye, which is when another doctor realised her patients were also being cured of frown lines which led to an explosion of cosmetic uses and a guilty new pleasure, Botox spotting. Definitely. Which is how it came to the attention of cosmetic Jonica, doctors Jonica. like Dr Maureen Boyd. On the whole, that is a common experience, that people will say, yeah, I, I, I don't get as many headaches. Often the headache is due to those muscles of the scalp being tight and um, spasmed and by relaxing those muscles, you actually treat the cause of the headache. That's a classic tension headache, but not all headaches are the same. Some are spectacular. One of the first things that I notice is I get a metallic taste in my mouth, sort of as if the, my back teeth are rotting. Then I'll get some pins and needles in my face, my arm getting really heavy. The pain would start in my head a right-sided, intense, throbbing pain. Just massively intense, throbbing pain. And then you wouldn't be able to think, you'd just lose hours. Amy was a dancer and highly trained occupational therapist. When aged 22, she was felled by a migraine that lasted five months. And that's when they said to me, oh, we think you've got hemiplegic migraines. I'd never heard of hemiplegic migraines. I wasn't able to work. I ended up divorced. I was ready to ask to have my leg amputated. I couldn't deal with the pain. By now, rumours from the cosmetic doctors were starting to filter through to the heavy hitters of the head world, like Dr Peter Goadsby, world expert on hardcore headaches. What happens in migraine is that certain 
uh, incoming information like light and sound and pain information from the head, instead of being controlled and uh, what's called modulated, so turned down, it's not, and it all charges through. While advances in brain imaging have given new insights into the cause of migraine... We think this area in the brainstem is crucial. Our preventive options to date have not been exactly flash. I was on maybe 15 different medications they tried with me. Every single one of the medications has different side effects. My legs would swell so badly I couldn't get shoes on, or, or my hair would start to fall out. Five years she went through this, until... My third neurologist said to me, let's give it a shot. Don't know whether it will work, but it's worth a shot. The shot, of course, was Botox, and her doctor was right to be skeptical. There were already Botox migraine studies, which weren't very convincing. Well, initial work failed, which is quite unconvincing. But the rumours from the cosmetic doctors wouldn't go away. OK. I'm ready for my Botox. So a couple of years ago, migraine specialists, including Professor Goadsbeak, got together to try again. Altogether, you do 31 points. This time with a blue chip study focusing purely on patients suffering more than 15 migraines a month. I wouldn't have a wrinkle anywhere, would I? <laughs> and this time, for a lucky subset, it actually worked. It's not like a miracle cure for the entire for all people on the planet with chronic migraine. But for the group who respond, it's really quite spectacular, really, I have to say. It's given me my life, yeah. The opportunity to work, to have a family. Scientists still don't understand why it works, but Amy reckons, who cares? And it's got that unfortunate side effect that you'll never look older. Oh, look, it's horrible. <laughs> it's just so horrible. <laughs>